When I think about Laura Bush, I think underrated. I always got the feeling that she was a force for good when it came to her husband's temperament. Laura is the love of my life. Laura Lane Welch was born in Midland, Texas on November 4th, 1946. She was an only child in a home where both parents contributed to her father's successful real estate business. She grew up in a landscape that was dull, but through the world of books, I think her imagination took her uh, all over the place. On the night of November 6th, 1963, Laura was involved in a tragic car accident. She ran a stop sign and hit a car broadside and the driver was killed. It had the effect of making her a little more thoughtful, a little sadder, uh, a little more world-wise. Laura went on to get her degree in education from Southern Methodist University in Dallas. She was working as a teacher when she met George W. Bush at a barbecue hosted by mutual friends. They hit it off right from the start and they were married shortly after meeting each other. Laura Bush's life in politics began almost immediately after marriage when her husband ran for Congress in 1978. One can imagine at the time how startling it was for her. She was not a public speaker and she was not particularly interested in politics. The campaign ended in defeat. A few years later, George and Laura had twin daughters, Jenna and Barbara. George W. drank too much and at age 40 had kind of a dramatic turnaround. Laura had evidently given him an ultimatum, too, that he needed to, to stop. She played a very important role in George W. Bush's life, and when he suggested to her that he might consider getting back into politics, she was all for it. In 1995, George W. Bush was elected governor of Texas. Laura Bush became more visible as first lady of the state. She focused on two areas that would follow her into the White House. One was education, the other literacy. George W. Bush went on to win a close presidential race in 2000. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the President of the United States. The transition to First Lady of the United States wasn't easy for Laura. I think Laura Bush is a very private person and the continual demands of the media were a challenge for her. She herself in those first nine months really was uh, a bit remote. She spent a lot more time down at their new home in Texas than she did in the White House. In 2001, after just months in the White House, the terrorist attacks of 9-11 changed the expectations of the presidency, including Laura Bush's duties as First Lady. For a while, she was referred to as uh, Comforter-in-Chief. Laura Bush began to address the concerns that parents had about fear and anxiety in children. Laura Bush continued to expand her reach as First Lady throughout her two terms. She stressed the importance of issues like health, literacy, and gender equality. She carried that message to a lot of the traditional Muslim countries where she had to be careful as not seeming to import American values Laura and her husband left politics in 2009, but Laura continues to work hard on the initiatives she championed in the White House. 